if you've been in a team long enough, you know that the frustrations will occur. And so processing those frustrations is one of the most critical things that we do each and every day, quite frankly, to keep a business moving in the right direction, to keep our practices growing and keep our teams together. And so there's a way to do this. So when you see that something that is some sort of a frustration has occurred, first question is, has it ever happened before? If the answer is no, it has not happened before, then the, the first thing you do is ignore it or quickly address it and leave it. Let it go, move on. Now, if it's happened repeatedly, there is a system for this. Now, the first thing you wanna do in your system for dealing with this is to ask, is there a process or a system already in place to deal with this, okay? If the answer is no, there is not a system or a process, so this is something that's frustrating you, but there actually isn't a defined system or process, then the answer would be, how could we define a system or a process for this, for this thing to, to solve this frustration? So maybe you lean on your coaches or you lean on the group crew from the PM or certainly holler at me if you're not sure what the system ought to be, but it's clear that you need to define a process so that this business frustration doesn't keep happening. Okay, so maybe a patient's not getting called back or you know, something is occurring. Well, usually it's a failure in a system and sometimes the system just doesn't exist yet. Okay, so if there is no system, then you've got to define one, train it, coach it, teach it, and implement it so that now that problem becomes a solved problem over and over and over again. Now, if there is a system and the frustration keeps happening, it means that the system's not being followed. So then what do you do? Well, First, you ask the question, has, does the team know about the system? Again, if they knew better, they'd do better. So do they know about the system? Have they been trained on it? If not, then we should train them on the system again and repeat it and make sure they know what they're doing. Second question is, do they care? Do they care? Is there, um, you know, is there something missing in their thought process towards the mission, vision, purpose, culture, whatever, where they're maybe missing a link, seeing why this is important that this patient gets called back or whatever the process is. So is there a system? Do they care? And then the question, you know, is it being followed? Obviously follows in line with that. So we wanna then ensure there's a clearly defined system that the team is trained on it and that they understand why it's important. And then we give them the latitude to go solve that problem. But if a lot of times, if you let the team know what the problem is, they'll solve it on their own. Remember, great leaders create more leaders. Leaders love to solve problems. So let them be part of the solution. Don't just say you're part of the problem. Let them be part of the solution. Describe what the problem is, what the frustration is. Let them know how it's impacting people, how it's impacting you. Give them the power and the authority to go solve it and fix it. And chances are your team will be better for it. So it's a little part of the process of making your practice better day in and day out is business frustration processing. Go get them. See you guys.